Thanks for tuning in for another Essential RC flight test and today we have got the new H-King Skysword 70mm EDF jet from our friends at HobbyKing.com. Now the 90mm version of the Skysword came out a few months ago, it was a big success so it's great to see the 70mm EDF version now available. It's going to be uh, great for smaller flying sites and uh, Maybe he's going to fit on the passenger seat of our car as well when we want to go flying, so great for that. Uh, the specs on this one, just under a metre wingspan at 990mm length, 1.3 metres. Uh, it comes with everything pre-installed in this plug and fly format, but there is a kit version available. So the fan and the motor are installed. The fan is the 70mm 12 blade. Uh, the servos are pre-installed, there's eight of those. 9 gram servos, uh, retractable landing gear and lighting system and we just need a our receiver to install that and our flight battery pack which needs to be a 4S 3300 milliamp hour pack or thereabouts. Comes in yellow, pink, orange and blue as well apparently. So let's not hang around, let's take the components out of the box, let's see what we get. Okay, so here we go. These are all the Skysword 70mm EDF jet components out of the box. So we've got the fuselage. Uh, the nose is missing because it is here and it's magnetic and it just slides into the front. Otherwise we've got this at the cover at the front which is spring loaded. Just, it just comes off quite easily. You've got the XD60 connector from the speed controller, all our cables for the different control surfaces, the flaps, the gear, the rudder, the ailerons, the throttle, all to plug into our receiver. I suspect we need a six or seven channel receiver. Uh, and you'd need a lot more channels on your receiver and your transmitter, unless you have, as what Hobby King have done here, is to put this uh, box in that allows some of these uh, control surfaces to be mixed together, so you just have a single uh, connection into your receiver, so that's that's good. The uh, wings onto the side with a provided joiner, single connection, so uh, no mucking around with servo extensions from the flaps, the ailerons, and the landing gear or the and the lights. Four things. That's all provided for on that one one connector, and then two bolts to secure the wing in place. I suspect at the back, you've got the two leads that go into the horizontal stabiliser here which has already got the servos installed and hooked up to the elevators just got to plug that in screw that down bolt that down no problem and then the wings themselves you can see you've got the aileron and flap servos already installed hooked up to their uh, respective control surfaces and we got the retract already in place as well and again the single connector that goes into the female connector in the side of the fuselage. Oh, and uh, the light in the back of each wing. Nice touch. Okay, so that's it. That's all the components. I'm gonna just screw this together very quickly, drop in my receiver, set it up on the transmitter, and next time you see this be down, the flying field ready to fly for the first time. Okay, here we are out with the Sky Sword at the flying field. Really easy to put together. Uh, it's all done for you, more or less. The, uh, even the control surfaces are hooked up already to the servos so with the, pu with the push rods, so nothing to do there. The uh, build tips, it really the, the horizontal tailplane is the, the thing to get right because if that comes off then you're going to have a disaster obviously. So it uh, comes with the servos installed but what you have to do is take the two carbon rods and glue those into that horizontal tailplane that's the first thing to do so use five minute epoxy or super glue slow cure super glue I would recommend let that dry and then before you slide that whole assembly into the vertical stabilizer get the two provided screws drop those into the holes and it's a bit fiddly but put them through the holes at the bottom of the of these holes in the top and just get them to bite on that hole. Don't, don't screw them all the way through because if you do that you will not be able to line, them, line the screws up with the holes in the vertical stabiliser. That's my only build tip. Otherwise, setting up 
make sure you get the CG spot on. It's 145 millimeters from the leading edge. I don't know, uh, this is such an unusual shape for a jet. Never flown anything like this before. So I'm, uh, I'm super nervous for that reason to make sure that the balance is absolutely spot on. I'm using a 4S 3450 pack, a bolt uh, pack from Hobby King. Really, really good packs deliver a lot of energy and power. The other thing I'm nervous about is that we're flying from a relatively small grass flying field, my local flying club. And when it comes to jets, I'm very nervous about flying them from a small patch like this. But I know people out there are very interested to know whether jets like this can operate and fly out of and land in club flying fields like this. So I think it's upon me to, to try that out and to answer that question because we don't all have the luxury of long paved runways where if you get the landing wrong then it's not a problem because you can go on and on and on and land anywhere. On Sometimes with jets a small flying field like this can seem like a postage stamp. Well it does to me anyway when you're trying to land or you're trying to take off. But let's give it a go. Let's see if we can make it work. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful! Flat off, we're still on full power. Do we need to trim out? No, we're good. No trim needed. Okay. First pass, pass. Looks good. Coming around, fast pass, opposite direction, downwind. Going up and over. down. Half flap at the moment. And full flap. Lining up.
Brilliant. So there we go, H King Sky Sword. I think that proves it does operate out of a small flying field like this without without any problem. Um, take off really easy, just as long as you pop up the nose. I was holding in quite a bit of elevator to get that, but as once it's got that positive angle of attack, it'll push out of that and get off the ground and then flick the retracts up, take out the half flap after you've done the first turn and then bomb around a little bit, enjoy it, some rolls. Didn't quite do a loop, I was a little bit nervous of doing that. Uh, and then for landing, Nick, if you want to come in a bit closer, you can see the, uh, the flap settings I'm using. So that's my full flap from the back, maybe, Nick. That's full flap. That's half flap for takeoff, and then that's the flap taken out. Um, so really, really good. Really easy to put together, flies really, really well, and it looks so different in the sky compared to anything else. So highly recommended. I'm gonna enjoy flying this. This, this one, yellow and black, also comes in that really <laughs> distinctive pink scheme that I know two other guys, James and Al, in Essential RC team have got, and we're gonna be flying formation with them in the near future, gonna look forward to that. But otherwise that's it. I'm, I'm astonished actually that it flew that well and that easily out of this small flying field. So that's it. That's it for this essential RC flight test. You might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Use the button in the bottom left of the screen now or you might want to join our Facebook group for news reviews and the occasional free giveaway. But thanks for watching this one. See you next time. Hoorah!